Now, if you were struggling with hair loss or maybe during pregnancy, you've got a bunch of spots and they're just making you feel not as confident. Well, there are medical treatments that you can do to make you feel confident again. And that's what it's all about. So I return to our friend, Dr. Ward. Dr. Ward, like I have learned about these treatments and I'm, I'm becoming a new woman, I swear, right? Like just getting rid of the spots for me is, is really transforming me. It's crazy to me how like a little thing like getting rid of spots mm -hmm. or getting a little bit thicker hair, you know, if somebody's suffering from yeah. hair loss or whatever, really helps. It, it, you're the same person and we're not trying to transform you, no. but the confidence that you feel, it, it, it just feels good. It's like, you know, you walk out of some fancy clothes store and you're wearing this fancy outfit, you feel like a million bucks, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing except for it's you. Yes. It's your face and yes. it's you. And that's what's really fun. And I don't think, as a facial plastic surgeon, I love to tell people this. I don't, what I do is not about how you look, which they kind of no, roll their eyes at, what? right? <laughs> it's about how you feel. And that's what I really want mm -hmm. us to really focus on is we're trying to help people feel their best, not change who they are, but feel the most confident they possibly can. Yes, and the medical treatments that are out there have become so incredible and so amazing over the years. So let's talk about what's available. Let's start with hair loss. We mentioned that one, and sure. men and women struggle with that. For sure. So, you know, we always talk about men, you know, male pattern hair loss mm -hmm. is really common, which there's all sorts of studies that show that, that there's decreased approachability and um, even just like honesty with people with hair loss, which is crazy. But if you think about how men are, are judged, like think about how women are, because you know, yeah. in general, hair is such a, a much more important part of, of a woman's kind of sense of identity than it is for a man. It's, mm -hmm. it's even less socially acceptable for a woman to lose hair. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole bunch of treatments that can be offered that can help improve hair loss. Some of those are as simple as injections or medications, but the most effective way is to actually transplant the hair, which is a permanent way to help add more thickness and more density to the, to the top of the head. Yeah, and you'll just feel like a totally new person. Now, women, our hormones change, pregnancy, th things like that, and we can get all sorts of crazy spots, you know, and I've, I've seen it firsthand, so but we can get rid of those. Right. So, you know, the traumas and tribulations of life, like I just say, it, it adds up. You know, you get sun exposure, mm -hmm. there's hormonal changes, there's pregnancies, all these sorts of things that can change the character of your skin, mm -hmm. and it makes people feel uncomfortable or self-conscious. So there's laser treatments that can help lighten those spots. Mm -hmm. They can help tighten some of the wrinkles and the lines that come from sun exposure. So those are things that are, that are readily available, and they, and they work great, and there's, there's no reason to, to not do it. It's not going to change who you are. Mm -hmm. It's just going to help you look and feel a little bit more confident. Yeah, it's like for me, I've got these little dark spots right under my eye that I'm trying to get rid of because they just bug me and I feel like I look more tired. So, you know, I'm doing treatments now in my 30s to try and get rid of it. So right. what are some of the other things that, you know, people, as far as the face goes, that they might want to focus on or might want to update? Sure. So one of the, one of the simplest things is eyelids. So, you know, we, we all get kind yeah. of droopy skin here or the brow starts to droop mm -hmm. down. And just a little change of that can just give a little bit better brightness to the mm -hmm. face. It's not gonna change. Like, people probably won't notice anything, which is great. Um, but it's just a tiny change. Mm -hmm. Other things, like even the nose. Like, some people have like yeah. a big hump on their nose or whatever, and they just feel a little self-conscious about it. They feel like people are looking at mm -hmm. it. Truth is, they probably aren't, but, but they you feel, feel like, like it they is. Are. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but then also, you know, things like as we age, the jowl goes down. I mean, oh, yes. I'm in my mid to late 40s, so I'm starting to f see that. Like, oh mm -hmm. gosh, I wish this was up a little bit higher. Yeah. <laughs> and just kind of repositioning that to, to a more healthy state where your kind of true features, your eyes and your smile shine through better. Yes, and I like that. Your eyes, your smile, that's what it's all about. And just giving you that boost of confidence. So when it comes to these treatments, don't feel bad about them. Don't feel weird. Like, it's all about how you feel internally, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So, confidence. Dr. Ward. Thank you so much. That's my favorite, favorite word. So always good chatting with you. Thank you.